It revealed a world we never knew existed. But it also left us with more questions than answers. And the biggest question of all is their life in that dark alien sea. To answer these questions, we need to send a new mission. We need to go back with instruments that are specially designed to search for the signs of life or biosignatures. One exciting idea is a mission called the Enceladus Orbilander. This spacecraft would do two things. First, it would orbit Enceladus for a long time. It would fly through the plumes again and again, using next generation instruments to analyze their contents in amazing detail. It could search for complex organic molecules, amino acids or lipids. These are all things that could point to the presence of life. By sampling the plumes many times, we could get a much better picture of the ocean and how it works. But the lander part of the Orbilander is the most exciting. After orbiting the moon, the spacecraft would actually land on the surface. It would touch down near one of the tiger stripes, right where the plumes are erupting. It could then scoop up fresh snow that has fallen from the plumes. This would give us a much cleaner the sample to study than what we can get by flying through the plumes in space. A lander could carry powerful microscopes and labs in a box to search directly for microbial cells. Finding even a single alien, alien microbe would be one of the most profound discoveries in human history. Enceladus represents a new hope in our search for life beyond Earth. It has taught us that the ingredients for life can be found in the most unexpected places. It has challenged our ideas about where life can exist. It has shown us that a small icy moon orbiting a gas giant far from the sun could be one of the best places in our solar system to look for neighbors. But with new missions and new technology, we are getting closer than ever to unlocking them. And what we find could change our view of the universe forever.